Hey everyone, welcome back to Govinda's Garden. It is Sunday, June 11th, and I wanted to give you an update on the figs. So let's start with this here. Um, what you're looking at are some fig cuttings that I started using the fig pop method around February 5th, February 6th. So that's, what is that? Five, four months ago? And, and none of these were showing any signs of rooting or budding or anything. So what I did was took those cuttings and some of them were large enough to make into two or three cuttings. And I put them in water, just pure water. And you, if you see my previous video, you can check that out. But um, what happened was like all of them started developing the formation of roots. So once I saw that they were developing roots, I just put them in this, this very light propagation mix in small containers. And my intention is to let them root in here, let them leaf out a bit let them get semi root bound to this container. And then, you know, of course, transplant them to a bigger container. But um, instead of just giving up on those cuttings that didn't show roots using the fig pot method, um, I found that water, simply water, has been very, very effective. So you can see some of the varieties we have here this one I'm excited for this is Natalina have a couple of these they were from the, all of these actually are from Harvey at Figaholics and Natalina was one of those rare ones where you could only order one of them so um you know Martinenka Ramada the Paratjal Ramada Acheca Movia Panavino it's not much to see here, but just a lot of different varieties. But I'm gonna show you the ones that are a little more mature over near the greenhouse. So as we walk over there, on the right here, I have a row of six in-ground figs. This is a Chicago Hardy that was planted last summer. It died down to the ground and is now coming back up. All of these, I did a very naive attempt at wrapping during the winter and they all died back to, down to the ground. So a lot of lessons learned from that. This is Italian 258. Um, and I'm gonna be trying some different things this fall, winter, to do protection for the in-ground figs, as well as the container ones. Um, this is Neruciola de Elba. I have like three or four of these going, but only one in the ground there. That has some figlets forming on it already. Maybe you can see that. Still pretty small, barely recognizable as fruit. But this is a white Marseille. Probably my most vigorous, or the most vigorous in ground tree in the garden. And this is a uh, long de oot, recently transplanted into the ground. And then a green Mincherinska over here, kind of slow growing, but looks very strong. So walking back over towards the greenhouse is where we have all the container figs. And first, if you've seen my previous videos, this greenhouse was full of container figs, which I've completely emptied out now. So just have a few kind of random cutting experiments over here. But besides that, all of the figs have been taken outside. And I put this uh, weed fabric around the perimeter of the greenhouse. So these are where the figs are gonna be for the remainder of the season. And some of them are doing very well. <laughs> like, I mean, the leaf size on that, like compared to my hand, that's. And this is a cutting that started in February. Who is this guy? And it has, you know, fruits on it already. This is San Miguel Rojo. 
aka Azore Stark from Portugal, I think. And this is another very vigorous, healthy looking plant. I just gave these a bunch of uh, a nice deep watering last night because I'm gonna be out away for a couple days, but Del San Wame Gran. Very vigorous. Um, I'm, I don't have time to show you all the different varieties, but this is a Babera Branca. Um, over here, this looks like a Ramada just based on the, the yeah, Regato del Salento. Actually, I don't know if that's a Ramada variety, but I see some stripage there. Um, using a mixture of these like two gallon containers for the younger cuttings. These are five, five or seven gallon fabric bags. This is Mr. Smith right here. Um, and I have these tagged up. This is a Desert King. Got from a, a local collector here in Western North Carolina. Got a Brooklyn white. Interesting leaf right here. Who is this? Oh, this is one. This is a local fig. Um, I do not know the variety. I thought it was a brown turkey when I foraged it, but we'll see what that is. Um, they just took a cutting from a local tree. I see a little figlet here. And this would be a stallion. Also, you know, Ross calls this blue celeste. So not sure if that's true or not, but I got that stallion. This is a black Madeira that was down to the bottom and has just shot, shot straight up in a very nice form. Strawberry Chico from a trader in the What The Fig Facebook group. Shout outs to that Facebook group. Very fun <laughs> and a casual group of fig, fig collectors, but really experienced people in there. They've been very helpful. So yeah, I'll just kind of name out some varieties I'm seeing. Adriatic JH, Maryland Berry, Violet de Bordeaux, Col de Dame Grise, Gentile, Green Jordan, Ischia. This right here is a Sultane or Sultane. And it has these really beautiful reddish stems. And it's growing almost perfectly vertical. Um, we've got a vert. Vert Verte. Um, this one here is a Tacoma Violet with this V-shaped structure and a good amount of figs forming on this one here. Here's an Achaika Mova, Movia. Um, there's a white Triana back there. Some of these leaf colors are, I'm keeping an eye on. I know some varieties have lighter leafs, leaf colors than others, but I uh, might need to apply some amendment. Uh, we got a Syrian red Libya, Violet de Soleil right there, Madeline de Du, Dan's Black Beauty 10 starting to lignify. Nice structure on that for me. Um, white Madeira number one. This one has some fruits on it already. Again, this is a cutting from February 4th from Harvey. I think his white Madeiras are very vigorous. Like all of them have been growing very really fast for me here. 
this fig is one that you've never i mean i don't even know exactly what it is but um it's a local fig that was grown growing in Asheville that i had and it was just insane and i got a bunch of cuttings from it i'm calling it the euclid named after the street that i found it on so it's the euclid unknown <laughs> Um, St. Martin, looking forward to growing this one. Got a few of those. Another Violet de Bordeaux, Padet Jal Ramada, another Euclid. Um, oh, and here's, this is a uh, Babera Branca here with some figs that are starting to darken. Uh, not expecting too much for quality of fig you know these are very young figs but it's always great to see the fruit forming speaking of that here's some more fruit forming back here on um, this guy who is a who is this oh violette de soleil sweet let's have some raspberries over here and then a few more a few more figs Here's a, one of the Naruchiolos here. These have been very vigorous. <laughs> this little yellow long neck that has never done, hasn't done well for me yet, but there's still some signs of life. Oh, there's another fig back here. Let's see who this is. Ah, it's hard to do this with one hand. Rosso de Trani. Okay. So, you know, if anyone out there sees a variety that they like, um, I'm definitely open to trades. Um, you know, leave a comment in the video. And... I think that's all. You know, there's a lot more going on in the yard. We got potatoes over there, fruit trees. I just planted a bunch of cantaloupe. This was a seed bomb patch that has some nice flowers popping up and clover, zinnias, and then fruit trees, berries. It's our little vegetable garden over here. All right, so hope you have a hope you're having a good spring, or wherever you are. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know how your growing is going, and I'll see you next time. Peace.